in most languages, red is actually the first color that gets named. Um, if you check some sources, they'll say it's the third because black and white come beforehand, but I think that's, those are lame colors. So red's the first color to get named. Do you guys have a guess of what the second color to be named is? Well, it's either black or white. You literally just said that. So after those. It's, it's, it's oh. a second after red, yeah, yeah. Blue, dabba D. Green, because there's so many trees. We got Matt with blue, we got Nicole with green. Eric? Uh, I, I, think, uh, I think I agree, it's gotta be, it's gotta be blue, because you have the Bloods and the Crips. There's no, I, actually, you know what? Green makes sense though, because it's so, it's in so much of, I'm gonna go with green. I agree with Nicole, I'm gonna go green. Yeah, two I'm green. Gonna go with peaceful blue, because I my wife just picked that out for our bedroom. It's and, just uh, that one Pantone. Yeah, I told you guys that on one. And she said it was the second color ever picked, so that's not true. But um, I'm gonna go with blurple, blurple, which I feel is a very a very underrated color. Like I feel like something like it was the second one. It was really popular, and then people started to like forget about it. But it's it's making a comeback. So I saw Matt wearing a blurple shirt the other day. It was pretty cool. That was that was a great looking shirt. Good V neck. Yeah. Um, it was not blurple. It was not blue, but it was green. <laughs> yeah. So typically, colors will go. It'll go red, green, blue, yellow. I think no green, yellow, blue, which is weird. You'd think blue would come before yellow because there's not that much that's yellow out there in nature. It's like goldfinches, lemons, the sun. Well, really, there's just like bluebells and blue jays. There's not a ton of blue I guess the okay, sky bad, though. I find sky. So yeah. what? So I mean, what? It's pretty ubiquitous. Is there a liter literary source for this information? I mean, what? Somebody actually found this in linguistics experts? Yeah, that's a good question. You want to go back pretty far, and I'm sure there's no like video footage of people coming up with the colors and like naming the colors. Well, I think they, they 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 invented writing before they started naming colors. Like colors, are, really? you don't need that. It's not like the first thing. You, it's like food and fire are important. And then you get okay. the colors later. So someone what drew a picture of a color? Because that's not really how that works. Well, that's why it took there's a long some, time. Don't you think there's an oral tradition about colors? Like, hey, stay away from that red-haired lady. And they'd be like, oh, you know, and for years it was an orange-haired lady. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't tell that story for decades before then coming up with another color. They would have all kind of come together at the same time, right? Don't you think? I mean, like yeah. even if green is the is the second color after red, right? It had to have been like the same day that they also came up with blue and blurple and whatever else. Like it had to have been within a couple of days, let's say. But it took them 6,500 years to come up with orange, right? Like it seems weird that they'd come up with all the other colors. Okay, well, when orange. did they discover Florida? Because huh. oranges, they are, they are native to Florida, but are they native to any other? I don't even know. But again, they just called them reds. Yeah. Reds, yeah. This is delicious red. I feel it's so reds. happy now. It just sounds wrong. But then people were, were confusing them with apples and strawberries. It got really... Confuse an orange with a strawberry. You got bigger problems. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's today's trivia. If you guys have any trivia that you have about the color red that you want to share, please feel free to comment or... Let us know on Facebook, uh, shoot us a text, uh, send a carrier pigeon, tie it, write it on a note, tie it to a brick, throw it through one of our windows, however you want to get it to us, you do you. Um, if you have a topic of trivia that maybe you'd like to see, you can contact us by any of those methods I just mentioned. Um, and thanks again to everybody joining from the Improv Playhouse. We always love your support. Uh, the Improv Playhouse, you can go to improvplayhouse.com, find out all of the neat things they're doing. They've got classes for kids and they've got classes for big kids. They've got shows every Saturday at 7.30 and 9. Uh, 7.30 is for the kids, 9 is for the big kids, not the little kids so much. Uh, and yeah, if you feel like, hey, I could do comedy, you can. Go take a class and prove it to the world and that guy at work who says you can't.